Hi, hi, welcome to Kodaivo. This is day 34 of 100 days of code. And uh, in this video, we'll be looking at a question from Hacker Rank. Okay, so far we have been looking questions from Geeks for Geeks. And the switch is because of the reason that all questions in Geeks for Geeks are basically two line questions. Uh, meaning uh, they come to the point straight away and there will no, uh, not be any problem modeling in the sense. Uh, there is no application kind of things, right? So there is no uh, correlation with characters or uh, some scenarios. So it, it comes straight to the point. So and a lot of you were wondering uh, how exactly to understand a question and how to interpret it. So that is why we are moving to hacker rank as of now. And uh, it will be there in hacker rank for quite a while now. And uh, the question for today is called beautiful days at the movies. Okay, so let me just read the question first, then I'll explain you what the question is. We'll then move on to the approach and we'll try to program this. And the question is actually uh, quite simple. Okay, so Lily likes to play games with integers. She has created a new game where she determines the difference between number and its reverse. For instance, given the number 12, its reverse is 21. The difference is 9. The number 120 reversed gives you 21 and their difference is 99. Okay, she decides to apply her game to decision making. She will look at a numbered range of days and will go to the movies on a beautiful day. So, uh, the, there are a few more lines but let me just explain what you have uh, come across so, uh, so far. Okay, so there is a girl called Lily and uh, she plays games with integers. In the sense some sort of games with numbers right and the game is that she takes a number and she reverses it and she finds the difference between the original number and its reverse okay so this is the game and she wants to apply this to uh, decision making in the sense if the difference is divisible by a number she would do a decision or she would make a decision uh to do it and uh, if it is not she would not do it okay so given a range of numbers closed interval i comma j in the sense i both i and j are included in this interval and the number k determine the number of days in the range that are beautiful beautiful numbers are defined as numbers where i minus reverse of i is divisible evenly by k if a day's value is a beautiful number and it's a it's a beautiful day return the number of beautiful days in a range okay so you are given a range in the sense you are given two numbers i and j and you are supposed to find all the beautiful days in that range and it is a closed range in the sense you are supposed to include both i and j into the range and you are supposed to find uh, how many beautiful days are there in that range so what is a beautiful day a beautiful day is uh, the date of the number difference its uh, reverse number and it should be divisible by the value k and this k value they they will provide it in the question and the interval will also be provided in the question so i hope you got some idea out of it now they have given a function description actually uh, it's the very same like you are given i j and k and you are supposed to do these things right and we have this one sample case 20 23 and 6 we'll try to work this sample case out and we'll then we'll move on to coding right so the first value in the input is i the second value is j and the third value is k right and you are supposed to uh, find all the beautiful days between i and j okay between also including i and j so let me just write those numbers first so 20 is one number 21 is the six, second 22 and uh, 23 so these are the four numbers in that range and you are supposed to reverse them right so let me just write here reverse okay 20 if you reverse it it would be 2 21 on reversing it would become 12 22 is 22 itself 23 is 32 right these are the reverse of these numbers and you are supposed to find difference of these two numbers and this difference is going to be absolute difference in the sense the sign doesn't matter 20 minus 2 is 18 2 minus 20 is also 18 because we are just taking the absolute value between them right so 20 minus 2 gives you 18 21 minus 12 gives you 9 22 minus 22 0 
this is 9 again 7 plus 2 9 okay so uh, this is the difference and you are going to see if they are divisible by k in the sense they are uh, when taking the modulo operator uh, when using the modulo operator it should return 0 right so 18 divided by 6 it uh, like 6 times 3 is 18 so the difference is 0 so it's a valid number and 9 uh, modulo 6 is not 0 so it is not a valid number and 0 mod 6 0 on dividing by 6 will also give you 0 so uh, it's a valid number you would consider it and uh, 9 modulo 6 again is not a valid number i mean uh, it would have some remainder which is not 0 okay so there are two numbers in this range that are uh, beautiful right so the answer should be 2 you are, you are supposed to return the count of it right so the answer should be 2 so this is the uh, example or uh, sample test case now we are just going to apply the same logic uh, in programming and see how it works so uh, i think uh, i'm going to write the entire code it's quite simple and uh, just we are starting from the header files and i'm going to use bit slash stdc plus plus if you want you can use uh, I was team as well, but uh, I would recommend you to use this because it includes everything and It's better you, you don't have to think about uh, which header file has uh, which class or uh, something like that, right and We are supposed to get three inputs right i j and k int i j k Okay, so these are the three inputs that you are going to get i and j are the uh, range and uh, k is the number that you are checking if it is divisible right so i'm just going to get input of these three numbers i j k fine so we have got input and uh, we are going to traverse uh, in this range right we are going to start from i we are going to go up until j so i'm just going to use a for loop for that and i'm going to have iterating variable which is going to start from i and it is going to go all the way up to j so i less than or equal to j because this is a closed interval and you're supposed to include j as well right itr plus plus so this is a for loop that runs from i to j in closed interval and inside this you are going to find the reverse of these numbers right reverse is it uh, rev uh, is the variable that i have created here it is going to be of integer data type int rev is equal to reverse of itr so i'm just going to define a method called reverse later and uh, here i have just uh, written that uh, there is going to be a method called reverse and it is going to return the reverse of that i'm just assuming that i'll later write that method as well right so int rev is equal to reverse of itr so we have found the reverse of this number now we are going to find the difference right so difference is equal to abs of abs is the uh, method that returns absolute difference like in the sense it would uh, perform the modulus operation it is not the mod operation it is modulus operation sorry i think uh, yeah modulus operation so it would remove the sign from it so if it is minus 2 and it goes into the abs it would become plus 2 right so it removes the sign and inside this you are going to say itr minus rev so it is going to uh, give the absolute difference of this and you are going to see if this difference modulo k is equal to 0 okay if it is divisible this uh, if condition would be satisfied and in that case you can just increment the value of count and uh, before that you have to define the count variable right so int count equals 0 yeah so in count equal to 0 and if diff mod k equal to equal to 0 you are going to increment the value of count and at the end of this loop you can just uh, print the value of uh, count print the value of count and this is not over it right because we have to define a method to reverse this number so int reverse of int n and i am going to define a variable called rev and it is going to be zero initially and uh, reversing a number i think you know it already if you don't know it uh, we probably have a video on it and uh, like it's quite simple right so while of n greater than zero while n is greater than zero you are going to take modulo of this number so n mod 10 
will give you the last digit of this uh, number right you are going to get the last digit of this number and you are going to add it with uh, reverse before that you are going to multiply reverse by 10 so reverse equal to reverse into 10 and reverse plus is equal to n modulo 10 okay so what would it do initially it would be 0 right reverse value is 0 when you multiply it by 10 it would again be 0 and n modulo 10 would give you the last digit of the number and you are going to add it to reverse fine so you have one digit setup for the next iteration you would multiply reverse by 10 meaning uh, if the previous value of reverse is 1 it would become 10 now and you are taking the second last value from n right n modulo 10 will give you the second last value and you are going to add it to this number it's a like it's a very simple logic you would probably already know how to reverse a number right and n is equal to n divided by 10 because we have uh, we have computed one digit right so we are eliminating that by dividing n by 10 right and at the end of this you can just return rev okay so that is it now we will try to run this and see if it works sorry there was a spelling mistake with the header file it should be std c++ i wrote st c++ and uh, trying to run this the code is working perfectly fine and all test cases have passed Hope you understood this. The question itself is quite simple. I mean, the implementation itself is quite simple. You are just reversing the number, finding its difference and trying to see if it is divisible by a given number. Okay, so that exactly is the question. But the modeling of the question, that is what we are concentrating on today. So trying to understand the question. So hope you, hope you understood this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you on tomorrow's episode of 100 Days of Code. Bye for now.